Hello team, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube uh, channel. So we all know in this playlist we are uh, predominantly uh, discussing and dedicatedly discussing about AWS and DevOps job opportunities. What are the best practices we should follow in terms of clear the interview and cracking the interview? Uh, of course, when you are you know looking for a job opportunity, uh, resumes are playing a major role. The profile how we are updating, what are the information you are going to update in the profile based on that only. You can expect the questions uh, from the interview. Okay, uh, during the interview, they will be asking you and they will bullet you all the questions throughout your uh, profile only. Okay, so we have already completed the resume preparation video number one. Part one has been completed. This is part two. Okay, so fine. Uh, now, uh, when you check your uh, uh, the job opportunities, right? Totally, we have completed so far five videos. This is fifth video. If anyone missed out the previous videos, right? In this description itself, I gave the link for past five videos go ahead and have a look on it that will give you a better clarity okay now i'll switch over to the resume all right guys this resume right which i prepared for this uh, uh, video uh, which is somewhere around six pages so try to have five to six page of resume don't go more than that okay uh, so in the first two sheet right i've already covered uh, how to update our summary how to update our uh, professional summary and the education and the previous experience and the certification what we have completed and the important key skills all those things right been covered you can refer the previous video which is already covered in this video right i'm gonna start from the page three okay here i'm going to cover page three and four upcoming video the one last video of resume resume preparation right i'm gonna cover fifth and sixth page okay that is the action plan all right guys in the page three right i'm gonna uh, talk about uh, project details okay here i'm gonna you know briefly explain uh, what are the things i have done in my project and what is my current designation and uh, what is the duration i worked on this particular project and how much is the team size uh, what are the day-to-day -day roles and responsibility and the activity i will get it in this particular project all those information right i'm trying to capture in this video okay that is the action plan all those things i'm trying to capture fine so now what I'll do, uh, when you are presenting your project information, right, you are not supposed to present in the your first company, then your second company, third company, you're supposed to not go in that series actually. You have to mention your current organization, the company where you are part of, the project where you are part of, you need to mention that in top, that in top, that is very important. All right. And uh, when you are mentioning your uh, company name, you have already mentioned the company name. Some people, right, I notice in the project detail, they also along with the designation duration, they also mention the client name, which client you are supporting for. Please don't do that mistake, actually, because when you work on any company, that client name, the project where you belong to, that is confidential to that company, actually. OK, so due to that reason, right, uh, we are not supposed to uh, share these kind of information to anyone. OK. We are not supposed to share these kind of information to anyone. Fine. Let me show you the references. See, designation in that current project, right? I was playing a role of technical project lead uh, where I had a uh, DevOps architect role in that uh, particular company. So duration, I've started this company 2018. Uh, till today, right, I'm being part of this organization. Team size is somewhere around 28 people. Okay. So this is the roles and responsibility. What is our scope in this project? What we do on regular basis, on daily basis? Okay, so when you check, uh, working as a multi-cloud DevOps architect, automating infrastructure in AWS Azure, GCP. So here, as I conveyed you long back, in this particular project, right, I have an opportunity to work with AWS Azure GCP and uh, uh, multi-cloud environment with the DevOps as well. So that is the reason I have highlighted everything. So coming to the experiences in cloud computing, right, AWS Azure GCP, in addition to that, working experience knowledge in DevOps tools such as Jenkins, Terraform, Python, Boto3, Automation, Cloud Formation, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes, Git, Jira, and Bitbucket. These are the key point in this current organization along with the cloud and the DevOps perspective. These are the very, very, very important uh, DevOps tools, right? I have a good exposure in that current project. So similar way, you guys have to portray. I'm strongly recommending all of you go and you know uh, follow the same pattern what I've given over here. Uh, why I'm telling like that? Uh, when you are... Uh, preparing and presenting your resume right if you mentioned these are the important devops tools right these are peak as of today's market this is what every company required uh, from your side needed from your side when you present all those things clearly uh, it will be really added benefit to you and moreover uh, 
uh, you have to update your knowledge in simultaneously you need to update you simply mentioning it in profile won't help you out so you also need to upgrade your uh, technical skill also in that way okay that is very important when you upgrading your technical knowledge for all these things right this will be really really uh, benefited uh, when you ask for a salary demand to your hr you can strongly tell them i, I have exposure with all these devops tools uh, why can't you pay for that you can you can ask for you can demand for the more salary this will give you and help you uh, in that case all right fine so hands on experience with uh, most of the layers of aws offering and the integration migration of existing uh, you know metal solution into visualized hosting environment using easy to s3 vpc load balancers and auto scaling with the cloudwatch metrics integration so even though we have a existing uh, virtualized uh, environment okay we have migrated everything and offering integration currently the environment hosted it on aws ec2 s3 vpc load balancer and auto scaling all those things right uh, we are integrating that is our major infrastructure as that is our uh, you know infrastructure at present uh, also we use you know cloudwatch metrics for the integration return you know templates for aws azure gcp infrastructure code along with using terraform build staging and production environment of course yes so uh, if we go on any you know environment today and projects today people are very key uh, into understanding the terraform and the applying into their environment because it supports multi cloud open source very easy to you know understand uh, basically right other uh, scripting languages or other uh, devops tools right if one guy implemented in the project so when the next guy coming to the project it's difficult for him to understand the code and everything but where terraform is follows the uniform pattern even though the new guy who come to the project he can easily adopt the career and uh, easily adopt the uh, technology which is there in the new environment that way terraform play a clear key role that is the reason every project if you go right as of today almost everywhere people are giving you a uh, terraform opportunity it's very very essential if you are anybody new to terraform go and get the deep dive knowledge of terraform it's very easy one okay so fine hands on experience with the jenkins groovy and declarative pipeline with the gitlab and uh, bitbucket as well so jenkins uh, working for the ci cd uh, important tool is jenkins you cannot uh, skip uh, jenkins by the way okay and coming to the groovy and declarative pipelines right very important when you want to work with the pipeline so updating your groovy knowledge is very important and if you have a pipeline knowledge with gitlab and bitbucket anything right that's added benefit to you okay but uh, one word i can conclude uh, when you have a jenkins cicd groovy knowledge you can easily manage the other uh, cicd tool as well almost all our concepts are going to be same only syntax going to differ okay Hands on experience in writing Python script automate the few management tasks, generate report for AWS and GCP platform. We write uh, Python script for automate any task in top of AWS, on top of GCP. It's really good uh, when you are having such a Python script experience. Try to add Boto3 in that. Okay. Definitely, you can do uh, various automation tasks uh, where you can you know, uh, ready, reduce the manual effort and things. Automate infrastructure using Terraform, Cloud Formation, Lambda, Boto3, and PowerShell. So these are the major uh, scripting languages and things and stuff for automating the infrastructure. Okay, so make sure you are having the uh, uh, code knowledge on Terraform, Cloud Formation, Lambda, Boto3, and PowerShell. Everything that is very important. Okay, keep in mind. In addition to that. So experience in creating AWS account with the Terraform code and managing them with AWS organization, service control policy and organization unit. Today, as of now, if you go any organization, right, uh, mostly uh, they are environment, mostly they are uh, uh, particular uh, multiple AWS accounts, right, are integrated with the master account and AWS organization. They do have service control policies to, you know, implement the organization standard. Uh, they are categorizing all the uh, accounts based on the organization unit hierarchy. Okay, that is very important thing where you should have a knowledge and idea. Okay, so in addition to that, experiencing uh, Azure subscription and Terraform code managing them, Azure organization, Azure policy, Azure Active Directory. Similar way, uh, if you are portraying Azure in your profile, it's very important. Okay, experience in creating Azure subscription with the Terraform code and managing them with the organization, Azure policies, Azure Active Directory. These are very important services when come to Azure. Uh, wherever you deal with your Azure services, try to mention. Similarly, experience in creating GCP project, Terraform code, managing them with Google Cloud organization, organization policies and folders. So, uh, GCP perspective, uh, this is how we follows. So, AWS, we use AWS organization service, right? Similarly, for Azure, we have a subscriptions. Similarly, for GCP, right? We have a uh, 
uh, GCP Google Cloud organization. Here also we have. Okay, for multi cloud, this is the strategy we follow when we have a multiple accounts. Image hardening process, right? We use CI CD pipeline using Packer and Bitbucket, CAS, and Mr. Sandwich Security. Okay, so uh, using Ansible and Puppet. So image hardening is the crucial part when you go to live environment, right? We will not use the marketplace AMI. We will handle the hardened AMI, which you know processed and the better you know, result provided uh, AMI we need to follow. And exclusively worked on Jenkins and continuous integration and end-to-end -end automation for pushing AMI. Of course, when the image has been AMI has been developed, we use Ansible pipeline to push it. Managing Ansible playbook configuration. When you have Ansible, when you have a various Linux flavor, right? Uh, we have to push the uh, configuration by the way. Hands on experience with the well defined architecture, VPC, subnet, internet gateway, route table, network. Because when you go any interview, right, they will go deep dive in networking. Because when you understand the network concept, of course, you have a good understanding on the networking concepts as well. So they will go deep dive, try to have a clear knowledge on networking perspective. Knowledge of establishing multiple traditional VPN between the customer data center and the AWS account. This is common. Uh, you should go through the all the understanding. If anyone not sure about VPN connection, already uh, we have a video in our, uh, uh, you know, in our YouTube channel itself. Go and have it, have a look on it. You will get to know about it. Okay. Hands on experience on installing and configuring Jenkins server with auto scaling with high availability domain name configuration. Of course, yes. Uh, end to end, from the scratch, we have a good exposure with Jenkins. So uh, hands on experience in migrating Jenkins from one master server to another, moving Jenkins jobs to one to another master server. Of course, when there is a migration and all, I have exposure in migrating one thing from another. Hands-on experience in creating Jenkins slave for AWS and Azure and GCP platform to uh, centrally manage and automate CI/CD process. Okay, uh, because when you have a Jenkins master, all those servers, right? You cannot keep it in the master itself. All the jobs we should need a slaves as well. So we have automation for that in our place. Use the SSM for service to patch, collect, centralize the inventory detailing using AWS SSM inventory management. AWS, we have a SSM, right? System, so, you know, system uh, center manager where we can manage all the VMs and many, many features are there with SSM. So we had a patching kind of uh, exposure with the SSM. I have mentioned that. Develop and implement serverless coding using Lambda, uh, using Python for automated EBS snapshot and event driven infrastructure using CloudWatch event. So based on the event, right, what we will do, we will uh, create an event bridge trigger that will trigger the Lambda will perform some certain activity. Okay. Example, we had a opportunity to work with S3 encryption. Whenever a user creates S3 bucket, that will be automated. Okay. Whenever S3 created the uh, bucket, user created the bucket, we'll automate them. Uh, automatically, Lambda will be triggered by the event based trigger. That all, you know, implemented. Written various number of scripted integrated with uh, uh, AWS, Python, SDK, Boto3, accomplished various automation tasks. Okay. For 2000 plus service. Okay, uh, provision with best practice involving AWS auto scaling, fault tolerance architecture, and disaster recovery. DR, fault tolerance, high availability, and all. You should have a clear idea, guys. Hmm? Experience in creating EKS cluster with kubectl and managing with them on Helm chat. Okay, Kubernetes play a crucial role. So, along with the cluster knowledge, try to, sorry, along with the cl cloud knowledge, try to have a clear knowledge on Kubernetes as well. Hands-on experience in creating cluster, using cluster worker and creating a many parts, replication controller, replica set, services, deployment, label, health check, ingress by writing YAML files. So these are the area where I work for a Kubernetes. I mentioned everything clearly. Having knowledge on Kubernetes cluster implementation with deployment services using YAML. Of course, we won't do it anything through command line. We have a YAML manifest for implementing all those things. Working knowledge of Docker Hub, uh, Docker container network, creating image file, you know, primarily for uh, middleware installation, uh, domain configuration, evaluated Kubernetes for Docker container orchestration. Okay. Experience in automating AWS uh, infrastructure cloud formation DevOps tools. We have already discussed. Maintaining enterprise architecture having more than 200 plus accounts with AWS organization by implementing SAP. Deployed centralized dogging solution for 100 plus AWS account. These are the achievement. Okay. I've done. So I've mentioned everything. Deployed automation using the Python script, AWS Lambda check experience, ACM certificate in AWS account and send the notification over the email. So we have a certificate, right? Uh, certificate manager. So if any certificate going to expire, okay. Um, AWS certificate manager, it will send the notification. For that, we have done automation, okay. Deployed account script using a check the unencrypted S3 bucket, make it encrypted for 200 plus accounts. We write in a script from, from one account, it will encrypt the bucket for 200 plus accounts. We have written a script for that. 
and experience in creating terraform template provisioning the resources aws gcp environment enabling ssd configuration for server ansible playbook then can installation configuration using terraform cft managing gitlab and bitbucket uh, organization creating gitlab pipeline for deploying resources aws using terraform okay like various activity right we have involved uh, of course when we are working in a project which very limited very hard to mention everything in by word but as much as possible right try to give the bullet points like that and try to mention the activity whichever you involved by the way right it will give you a clear roles and responsibility so you may even have a confusion hey hari so you have mentioned so many things uh, it's really good looks very good how can we get the solution for all those things okay if anybody need a solution for that so already i shown you uh, this is my uh, previous batch you know video if you go over there all those things right which been covered with the real time project scenarios this is for aws and if you go devops okay everything covered over here it's readily available not only here sample resume interview data everything available here if anyone need uh, access to this drive right actually we are you know uh, going with a uh, minimum you know 15 to 20000 rupees of uh, package this training is live training when you unable to pay that much uh, the people who are watching this video right they will be getting the 50% flat discount in description i mentioned the whatsapp number my whatsapp number you can directly send this video link and ask for the offer i'll give those entire drive video for 50% discount okay so you will get everything interview certification real time scenarios so everything you will get it if you go through all those things definitely you can clear it i can even help you when there wherever you have struck right i'll help you with that okay fine guys as discussed uh, covered you know uh, third and fourth page over here in next video i'll try to cover the uh, roles and responsibility i have a uh, two more companies where i worked i try to explain on the uh, another video if everyone like this uh, video right kindly like this uh, video and uh, give your acknowledgement in the comment if it is really helpful to you kindly mention it in the comment section which motivate me and uh, nobody subscribing my channel kindly subscribe to my channel so that i can put lots of videos similar to this okay thank you guys thanks a lot i'll meet you on next video